Today we're going to make a fuse slash relay panel for the S13. Okay, so here is what we have. We've got the fuse box, we've got a little terminal strip just chilling right there, and then we got our relays. I don't know if I'm going to be using all of them, but I'm definitely hooking them all up just in case in the future I add something that needs a relay. So here is the diagram for the relays. 87A is a normally open circuit, so if whatever you're running needs a normally open circuit, you would use 87A instead of 87. So yeah, I don't think anything that we are going to be using is going to need a normally closed circuit. However, on the spare relay, that I'm pretty sure we're going to have at least one spare, uh, which probably be this guy, we'll keep the red wire there just in case we may end up needing it. So this black wire will go wherever the ground is on the chassis that's closest to it. So the blue wire is positive and it is going to the fuse box. So this guy will go to whichever fuse it is set to depending on what it's powering. So in a nutshell, what's going to happen is 87A, the red wire, not going to use. The white going to the terminal strip. And from the terminal strip, it will go to the switch. The yellow is going to the terminal strip as well, and from there it's going to wherever it's powering fans, lights, whatever, wiper motors. The blue is going to the fuse box. And from the fuse box right here, we've got the incoming power for it. So power from the battery goes to there and then disperses throughout the fuses. The black wire is a ground, so that we're just gonna have off to the side for now because. This is ABS plastic, it's not a ground, so can't really use it as one. Okay guys, so here's our switch panel. It's uh, not 100% complete, there's still some things that I want to get. I want to get a bus bar, mount it like up here, have that for the grounds, just have them kind of loop around, maybe go there, maybe go on top of here. We'll see, we'll see what looks better once it arrives. But until then, they're probably just going to stay like that. So yeah, there's the grounds. Here we've got all the power for each relay going into each, uh, they each get their own fuse depending on what they are powering, they use the specific fuse for it. So here we have the terminal strip, these white wires will go to the switches, I'm going to get a switch panel, so each switch should be on that panel. And these are the wires that go to the accessory, these yellow ones, so they would go to the power input on the fans or the lights or the fuel pump, whatever it is they are going to be powering up, that yellow wire is going to splice into the power wire on that accessory. So here's another few things that I got for the electrical side of the car. I got a battery disconnect switch, so that would be on, turn it, that's off, and then you turn it a little bit more, and then it comes off. So that acts kind of like a key, so I can to get that, have that out of the car when I'm not in the car so no one can take the car. And then here is a breaker for the battery. It's a 250 amp breaker. So this will be, it'll go battery, power, and then from there it's gonna go to the fuse box. Well, it's gonna go to the starter. And from there it's gonna have another wire coming off going to this guy. So when you relocate your battery, you uh, have to measure out how much distance is between the battery and the fuse box so you can figure out which gauge wire you need to use because it's all 12 volts but each thing requires a different amperage so you need wire that can handle the amperage because over distance um, it loses voltage and amperage so you, if you get a thicker wire it helps hold that voltage so at the battery you get 12 and a half volts and at the fuse box you'd get 12 and a half volts so you want to be like that so yeah i'm thinking about putting the battery right behind the passenger seat so it's not that far of a distance between there and the fuse box which will probably be right there where all that taped up stuff is probably somewhere in there so that's not a huge jump that's maybe six feet of wire because it's got to go around stuff but or i might even just run it right up the middle like that Maybe, we'll see. But yeah, so that's not a huge 
distance like it would be if I put it like back there or over here or something like that. So yeah, the wire thickness won't be as thick as it would be if I put it in the back of the car. All right guys, we got her done. Apart from like, you know, cutting it to size because we don't need all this empty space, uh, we're, we're good to go. Just got back from Home Depot and I picked up this guy. He is a ground bar. They use him in breaker panels. So I just have all my grounds running to there and then I'll have this guy be like an incoming and that'll go to the chassis or, you know, the closest point where I could get a ground from. So everything here is grounded. Yeah, overall, I think it came out pretty good. I think I went ahead and zip tied this so it's a little more clean. This guy is for our light bars and our LED cubes for this guy. So I'll have the switch for those go to the white wire and the power to the actual lights come from this guy. From here, this can be the fans. This can be the windshield wipers. This can be the headlights and taillights. Um, and then fuel pump. This guy's the fuel pump. And that is how you make a fuse box slash relay panel for your race car. It's really not that hard. Um, I know wiring looks hard because there's so many wires and they, who knows what they all do. It's, it's not that complicated really once you start going wire by wire, okay, this wire does that, this wire does this, you know. Especially wire diagrams help a lot, they really do. <laughs> so yeah, it'll be a little bit before we get it mounted in the car because I have to make a dash. And I'm thinking about making the dash out of ABS plastic since it's pretty cheap and easy to work with. And it, the dash will just be like a square shape anyways. It's not going to be anything fancy, no curves, nothing. I'm, uh, I'm not experienced enough to do that with anything really, except like cardboard. <laughs> Alright, well thank you guys so much for watching. So leave a like if you did, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.